How the Frog Princess learned not to be offended all the time. <laughs> Once upon a time in a swamp there lived a Frog Princess named Vanessa. She had a knack for constantly getting offended by those around her, no matter the circumstances. Even if she was praised, she would always be dissatisfied furrowing her brow. For instance, the royal water strider would come running to her in the morning and say, Good morning, your highness, you look marvelous, I bet you had a good night's sleep. Hmm, of course, Vanessa would pout offended. So if I hadn't slept well, would I look awful and be hideous? Or during a lesson, the old scholar Carp would say to her, You've grasped this topic excellently, your highness. Oh, please, the frog princess would protest. What's there to grasp? It's just the basic times table up to three. Even tadpoles could learn that easily. Do you think I'm utterly clueless and incapable of anything else? And so on. One day the king and the queen grew tired of tolerating their daughter's tantrums. They decided they needed to find a solution for the princess, so they took her to a local renowned psychologist, Owl. The princess entered the specialist's office and stared off dissatisfied. Hello, your highness. How can I assist you? Owl asked with a velvet voice. I feel like I never get the recognition I deserve for my accomplishments, Vanessa said frowning. Someone always finds something negative even when I try my best. What if I told you that you look lovely today? Oh, say it, smacking his beak. Vanessa furrowed her brow even more. Shouldn't you say that to everyone? You're a psychologist after all. But I'm genuinely saying it to you. Owl smiled. You look very beautiful. Well, maybe a bit. Vanessa softened. All right, I think now we can work on your attitude towards offense and criticism. The psychologist suggested. Do you even enjoy getting offended? Princess Vanessa pondered. At first I wanted to say no. What's enjoyable about feeling offended after all? But if you think about it, there might be some pleasure in it. When I get offended, it's like someone else is the bad one and I'm the good one. Interesting. And what do you think you gain from getting offended? Probably that when I get offended, I expect the person I'm offended by to feel guilty, and then the guilty one will try to please me in every way. It's pleasant. Your Highness, can you recall a couple of your recent offenses and think about why you could have been offended at yourself in these situations? Princess Vanessa thought for a long time, at least a minute, and finally said, well, when I got offended at the water strider for saying I looked good, I could have been offended at myself because the night before, after the party, I forgot to wash my face before going to bed. I was so anxious about it in the morning that I simply snapped at my maid. And I yelled at my math teacher, the scholar Carp, because during the previous literature lesson I stumbled through a poem, as I hadn't memorized it well. You see, your highness, very often what you dislike in others might be what you can't accept in yourself. When you start recognizing why you get offended at yourself, you'll have to learn to accept yourself as you are and forgive your imperfections. Although, to be honest, princess, you are so beautiful and perfect that I can't hold back anymore. You know, I think we should end our lesson right now. Why? the frog princess exclaimed. You are the most attractive and appetizing frog I've ever seen, and I really want to eat you because we owls feed on frogs, but I'm a professional and I can't allow my desires to lead to such a terrible act. Nevertheless, it would be best for you to leave here as soon as possible. Vanessa hastily grabbed her things, muttered thank you over her shoulder and rushed towards the exit. 
When she heard a loud snap of the owl's beak behind her, she broke up in a cold sweat, screamed as she bolted out of the owl's office and slammed the door behind her. She ran to her swamp, her heart was pounding with fear, however, strangely enough, she didn't feel offended towards the owl. Rather, she felt grateful that despite his instincts, the old psychologist still tried to help her and warned her of the danger when he could barely resist anymore. Since then, the frog princess revised her views and tried not to get offended so often.